Hey everyone, this is Gleb. Today I want to continue playing with Cypress Wordle. Well, I don't want to solve the Wordle every day either by myself or using Cypress. Using Cypress seems way too easy, right? I mean, it just solves it. And solving it by myself is kind of difficult. So what I would like to do is for Cypress to solve it, but then give me a hint. Maybe hide all the solution letters and just leave one random letter and tell me, hey, like this word proxy has first letter P or middle letter O. What if it could actually solve it and then email me this hint? That would be kind of cool. So I started writing email hint spec. So right now I got all the way to the solution and this is where we can continue and figure out how we can, first of all, hide the letters, then create a screenshot, and then email the screenshot to myself so that every morning I get a screenshot with a hint. Like, so, because I'm going to be emailing things, I need SendGrid account or some kind of email account. So I already set it up. I have blog post and presentation about testing Ethereal email. So look up details there. Like, so here's my email hint spec. You transfer the whole uh, thing until it solves it. Okay, so today's solution is kind of weird. I mean, the game calling me a prick. Fine. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to look at individual tiles. And I have game rows. And inside each game row, I have game tile. And inside each game tile, I have a tile with a letter. And the empty rows. They have game tiles, but no tiles. Oh, no. Actually, no, they do have the same thing. They just don't have a letter. So if I want to hide all the letters, I have to find all the game tiles. And for each tile, I have to remove the inner text. Okay, so let's do this. Right about here, we can get game. But, but only the ones that have letter. Right? And then we have... So now we have game tile and we can find the tab. And I'm using separate get and find just because we have shadow boundary there. So it's not, I cannot do it in a single shot. And I'm just going to say invoke text and just clear it out. So if I had a letter there, right, then it would be removed. And it does have a letter because I only took game tiles with an attribute letter. I don't care about which letter it is but we're only considering one. And notice we just removed all the letters, but it's kind of too much. I, I want to leave at least one letter in the solution row, right? So here's how I can get it back. Well, first of all, I need to pick a random letter, right? So I say uh, index and I'll say Cypress low dash random minimum index zero max um, four and I'll say letter. Okay, so this is the random letter that I want to put back. So imagine if we were, let's say, um, giving a text hint, right? I could say, okay, uh, the hint would be one, two, three, four, and I'm going to replace index with a letter, right? And I'm going to hide all our items, right? So I could say side log um, the hint, right? Now I have to do the same thing in this last row. So the last row I can find by game row and it has the letters, right? And in this case, the word, I have to use template literals. Okay, so this will give me the last word and then I'll find all the game tiles with a letter there. And which tile do I want to put back the letter in? Well, there is a Cypress command ik, right, which takes the index. If you have multiple elements you lose from previous command, you just take uh, one of them. And this is the one at index. And what I want to do, I want to invoke text and put the letter back. And let's just wait for the animation to finish. Okay, so let's see how this goes. So if everything goes well, we'll hide all the letters and then we'll get the hint in text 
and one of the letters in the solution enabled. Okay, and now, okay, almost, almost. Oh, I have to find inside the game tile the actual tile. Okay, so we fixed the problem. Now we should see one of the letters come back. And here it is. Okay, so our hint is four unknown letters and then followed by a K, we can see it in. The... So now we can take a screenshot, All right? So we can say, Sai, what do we want to take screenshot? Well, there's a board container that much I know should be visible, like screenshot, and we give it a name, salt. Now we do want every time we run to override the same file because we don't need multiple copies like screenshot one, screenshot two, and so on. But Cypress creates by default if the screenshot is already there. Okay, hide it, take a screenshot, and if we look at the files, screenshot, the name of a spec, salt. Okay, this is the screenshot we want to send you know, to myself or to whoever wants it. Okay. So here's what we can do. We can create a task because sending an email is kind of thing, but node is capable of, not the browser. So we can say um, send email, that's the task I wrote. And we need two things, right? Well, we need the hint itself. That's the word with a couple of letters uh, hidden. And uh, we need the screenshot itself, right? Well. The screenshot doesn't give us the, like the path name to the screenshot. So what we will do, because it's in screenshot folder and has the name salt, right? We can say, okay, Cypress spec name, which will be like the email hinges, right? And then uh, salt, okay? Now, what is this send hint email? Well, in my plugins file, I defined a task, and that's where I defined an asynchronous method send hint email that will get the screenshot and the hint. And in this case, right, so it finished successfully. Here's what it does: it forms the full path file name. So and then it prints it. So let's see if it's there. Okay. And then it says, well, if you don't have an API key, just do nothing. Return null. Stop the task. Right, so if there is no uh, API configured, no big deal. Then, if there is API key, it initializes and grid email client library. And you can use any emailing library here. Like, we read the screenshot as base 64 string, and then we use all environment variables to define from and to emails, and then we provide two versions of email. So here is I provide plain text with just the hint word. And I provide an HTML version of the email where I just say, here's a hint. And I take the inline page 64 encoded screenshot that I just took. And then I call send grid email send. So as you've noticed right here, I'm using this ethereal email, right? Because for this demo, I don't want to use my real email. It's available right here. I made account just for this task, right? I'm using the same ethereal mail to send and to receive. So if I refresh, here's what just happened. I click on the email and here's today's hint and the screenshot that I just generated a send and the same version in plain text without an image. So this is how easy it is to actually solve, hide the tiles, reveal one of the tiles, email the screenshot. And the last thing we want to do, we want to do it every day at, let's say, um, I don't know, 5 a.m., right? So I define a new workflow where I can use a schedule, a cron schedule, to email myself at 5 o'clock every day. I can also run it locally, which is what I will demonstrate. And here I'm checking out the files, and I'm using Cypress GitHub Action to just execute a single spec file. because my default CI uh, workflow tests everything. In this cron job, I just want to run email hint spec. And I'm passing all the send grid information I already set on GitHub action tab. So here's what happens. I can go to the actions, I can go to the hint, and I can run it manually because I also defined 
manual dispatch so I can verify that this works. It's running. It has only a single test job with a single line of configuration. Installs everything, caches everything, runs Cypress. Now the Cypress is running a single spec that we pass, email hint. Now today is the same day as I just did locally, so it will be the same word. Maybe the hint letter will be slightly different, let's see. Before that we had the middle letter I. Okay, save the screenshot. Ah, it's the same hint unfortunately. Let's go back to the list of our emails. Notice a new email just arrived. It kind of looks the same because the hint is the same, but notice the path it took to solve it is slightly different. So this is my Cypress Wordle periodic hint generation.